In Quajo and the Brassman's Secret, a tale of old Ashanti wisdom and gold, author-illustrator Misha Kasari introduces us to Quajo, a boy who lives in Ghana among the Asante people. In the first part of the book, Quajo tells and shows us how brass gold weights are made. In the second part of the book, Quajo goes on a magical journey into the past in search of gold. As we learn in the author's notes, in the past, brass weights were placed on scales and used to weigh gold dust. The tiny weights represented many things, a tree, a plant, an animal, people, an artifact, or a proverb. Today in Ghana, people pay with money, but there are still artists who make brass gold weights. In this activity, art teacher Barney Myrie will show you how to make your own gold weight with clay and gold paint. I start by making a tube of Sculpey. I pinch off a little, that will be the head. I cut top and bottom. This will be the legs and the arms. It's always better to work from the body than to add things to the body. It just makes them stronger. Now I'm using a pointed tool just to make the fingertips. And here's the head. I'm making sure it's the size I want. Now I'm adding two eyes, very tiny pieces. Now I'm making eyeballs. Now I'm making the nose. There it is. And I'm using the end of the scissors to make the mouth and I close the mouth with my fingers. Now, I'm scoring the clay so that the clay will bond with the neck of the man. And now I'm smoothing it out with a toothpick. Actually, it's a fruit pick. It's a little longer than a toothpick. This man is giving and receiving a fair price for his goods. Now I'm going to make a base for the man to stand on that will help him not tip over. And many Asante brace, brass weights have bases. Next one, I'm making a leopard. I bent the legs downward instead of out. There's the leopard's tail making the head just like the man except ears. Here's the little tiny eyes. There's the mouth. I'm going to make little tiny eyes and eyeballs. I can't forget the nostrils and the nose. I'm blending at the joint to make sure the head doesn't separate away from the body. Now the spots. Every leopard has spots and they say a leopard never changes their spots but I'm not sure about that many 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 spots and it makes a nice design there we go see the mouth of the leopard is open and I'm making whiskers and he's very handsome whiskers nostrils ears more spots. Great, this is really a lot of fun. Clay is so much fun. Now, this kind of brass weight is a symbol. I want you to look very carefully at the symbol that I'm going to make on top. 
because you'll be able to find the symbol on the Adinkra chart. There we go. I'm pressing, I'm pressing so that the clay won't come loose from the base. Clean things up on the edge with the toothpick. That's looking great. Flatten it out a little bit. That will help it stick on. I like this decoration. Pop it in the oven at 325 for 12 minutes. The adult does this. And now acrylic paint. And they are nice and ready to paint when they're cool. I've started here and I'm using a small brush because I need to get into small places. The back and the head and I'm kind of like bouncing so I can get the brush down inside those dots. Finding all the hidden places. The tummy is a hidden place. In between the legs is a hidden place. And I keep moving my leopard around to get those places that I don't see. Ah, I see more in between the legs, front and back. There are more. Do you see any parts that I haven't painted? Ah, there it is. Good eye. <laughs> this whole other side, I completely forgot it. Now I have to paint everywhere. <gasps> I see more hidden spaces. The inside of the front legs, I, I had no idea. That's why I had to double check. Check and check again. Any hidden spaces that don't have paint, they have to be painted. Yeah, sometimes I loosen up the paint a little bit and we're painting the man. The man is giving and receiving a fair price. That's why I've named him Fair Trade. Being fair when you trade is very important. There you go. It was easier to paint than the leopard. It was easier to find his hidden spots. But here we go. He's about done. Oh, I like him. It's not hard to do. But we want to keep it small. The smaller they are, the stronger they'll be. They get too big, then they're too heavy. Have you found this symbol on the Adinkra chart? Maybe you'll see it. Uh, I gotta get those edges, those hidden spaces. This is acrylic paint. It will wash off my hands. This is spray paint, only to be used by an adult. Kids should not spray spray paint. Here are two Adinkra weights that I made at a different time. And I'm spraying them and turning them. And we're doing this outside, never spray paint inside. Spraying, spraying. This is something mom or dad does. Kids don't spray paint. Now I've got to get, get the hidden places. Actually, I like the other paint a little better, but spray paint is good too. Gold acrylic paint, a toothpick, a brush, scissors, and what do you got? These are Adinkra brass weights. This is the two, okay, Sankofa, looking back to learn from the past, a leopard doesn't change his spots, and fair trade.